Here we go, here we are, back at it again. Probably nobody's been wondering where I am, all, what, 300 of you uh, who have subscribed to me, but hey, whatever. Um, I don't know, took a little hiatus uh, from, I don't know, probably the fall, fall of last year. Anyways, a lot of changes in my uh, business, I'm trying to figure out directions, what I'm doing, what I'm going, uh, what's next for the Gate City Hall YouTube channel. And just to kind of be honest, making videos just, you know, it's too time consuming for me. Uh, however, uh, got some free time now. Uh, was doing some, let's call it consulting uh, for a company f uh, that uh, took up some time. Um, and it looks like that is at an impasse and not really sure where that's going at the moment. Um, they uh, pretty much suspended the contract for now and you know it is what it is right now where it is right now and uh, so I've got some free time however uh, putting videos together shooting editing you know cropping adding sounds effects and all that stuff um, just uh, you know it, it's time consuming so just you know making videos and trying to run my resale business work a full-time job all that good stuff uh, you know You've heard it before from other YouTubers who took hiatuses, uh, you know, same things. Uh, just, you know, it, it just wasn't, uh, you know, wasn't something that was adding directly to the bottom line of the uh, business. And so it had to go for a while. Uh, but like I said, it looks like uh, I'm going to have some free time back. So uh, I'll be able to shoot some content, uh, put some videos together for you um, and all. As to any wondering or uh, not wondering, because I'm going to tell you anyways, uh, where I've been, what I've been up to, uh, all that, um, uh, just my, my business has changed. Um, I, like I said, I, I, I did some some consulting uh, with the company uh, that kind of uh, took up a lot of time, um, and so I didn't really, wasn't really focused on my resale business um, as much, uh, maybe working just a couple hours a day on it, and I was working four or five hours for that. Uh, consultant firm um, plus my regular job and uh, just you know, just uh, didn't didn't have time but uh, I'm back at it now um, the last few months I've been spending a lot of time with our buddies uh, uh, Anthony up in Pittsburgh as well as the chef Marte um, matter of fact last weekend I, I spent uh, in Pittsburgh uh, with them at the uh, card show and um, I don't know when this video is going to come out and if it's going to coincide with uh, their video. But um, anyways, I hung out with them. Um, and then a few months before that, uh, I named on those videos. Uh, we went to a culture collision together. Uh, we met up with uh, uh, Mike from uh, Huddle Card Collection. Uh, hung out with him for a while. Went to a card show. Uh, we went uh, also went and did... Um, now, what did we do that night? I can't remember. Oh, we did the uh, Royal Rumble uh, pay-per-view. So we hung out at Mike's house and watched that. So uh, that was real cool. Anyways, it has nothing to do with what's going on now. Anyway, so my business has changed. Um, so uh, I can't remember if I've mentioned it before in other videos that I may or may not have uh, posted. I, I don't remember and not really going to go back and look. Uh, but I sold the flea market. Um, I got, I got out of that or the flea market booth. Um, I got out of that, um, just, I moved from where I was, um, and it was a, a, a longer commute, uh, to get to where I was, where it's at. Um, so I sold out of that, um, moved the, uh, business inventory around, uh, things had to, had to get different, had to change. Um, and so I, um, relocated the inventory to a different location. Um, and so it took me a little bit of time to kind of get through that. So that was kind of took up a lot of my time as well. Um, because uh, when I moved, it was kind of in, in, in haste. And so a lot of inventory just got thrown in some bins. And um, so I needed to go through and inventory it, uh, get it back into the inventory system, uh, get the postings relisted, all that good stuff. Uh, and that took, um, that took quite a bit of time. And so 
um, now that I've done that. Uh, but I am happy to say that my uh, business is 100% mine now. Um, and so it's only me uh, running it. And um, so I don't have any of that kind of overhead or difficulties that go along with uh, running a business with somebody else. Um, so it, it uh, is going to help me move forward now and, and kind of really kind of ramp up. I've re-added Amazon FBA uh, back into the business. I had gotten rid of it for a while because um, I just wasn't in a place where I could uh, source inventory for that portion of the business um, at the same time as uh, you know restarting the, uh, eBay uh, business as well. Because you know uh, it, it, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, sourcing for those two uh, businesses are completely different, and so I just didn't have the time for that. I took a couple of uh, seminars. Um, uh, a couple of them I did pay for. Um, the the couple I did pay for came highly recommended. Uh, were done by very reputable people in the FBA business, and um, I did learn a lot. I learned a lot more about Amazon than um, I, I knew before, and it has actually helped me propel. Uh, forward into the Amazon. As far as eBay and stuff, uh, part of the revamp of the eBay is is that I am uh, I'm getting out of clothes. Now, if any of you are going to go directly to my link down there at the bottom to my eBay store and say, "Oh, you still got clothes listed," uh, what I'm doing though is I, I, I'm I'm getting out of kind of the run of the mill clothes, the just kind of you know onesie two, you know, not really the ones, but just kind of like the regular you know uh, anything that. Um, you know, it's just kind of run of the mill. I'm going to focus. I am going to keep some clothes. I am going to focus high on the more kind of vintagey, um, uh, you know, stuff like that. Some of the stuff that may be higher made. Like if I go into a thrift store or if I'm at a yard sale or sourcing or whatever it is, and I, um, you know, see a, I don't know, a Tommy Bahama shirt and, um, I look at it and I can't immediately identify that it's going to sell for a higher price than a run of the mill or just kind of generic Tommy Bahama. I'm going to put it back. Same with, you know, you know, Tommy Hilfinger or, or uh, any of those types, types of brands. So I guess I'm going to kind of focus on more of the, the, the more higher end clothing um, and just kind of get rid of the, the, the regular clothing. The next video I plan on doing uh, has to do with the, those uh, clothing items and what am I doing to get them out of my eBay store and what to do with them once I take them out of my eBay store. Um, different ways that you can liquidate clothing and things like that. Uh, I've done a couple things to, to get rid of it, uh, get some money back out of it rather than just donating it uh, to back to a thrift store or something like that. As far as the eBay uh, thrifting stuff, again, another reason why I'm kind of restarting videos now is it's getting ready to get into yard sale season, uh, flea market season, and things like that. Those things are going to be more readily available to me in this area. Uh, so it's another reason why I'm getting back into doing videos now. So you'll see some of those ones. And for my card people, uh, you know, the content will have uh, card stuff in it as well. Um, not much so much as box ripping and, you know, things like that. I may, you know, show some pickups, um, but I'm not kind of getting out of buying wax, buying sealed product and things like that and focusing more on trying to buy collections, um, trying to buy out uh, other people's uh, stuff that they don't want. Uh, one of the things I hear done recently is I actually bought a, another, a, I don't know if you call him a vendor, uh, but he, he, he was doing some shows. He decided to get out of shows. And so um, I bought out his collection, which include his uh, display cases, some uh, carrying boxes, and, and things like that. Speaking of card shows and things like that, I'll be doing a lot more card shows and things of that nature. Uh, we got one coming up here in April. My local shop has a, sponsors a card show, so we'll be doing a, a show or be setting up at their show. So I hope to also kind of include in some of my other videos coming down the road, uh, the different things I'm doing with my business than I did uh, the last time. Uh, the things that uh, I didn't do right the last time, uh, things that I want to improve on, um, and, and things of that nature. So uh, hopefully some of those things will be sprinkled in uh, into the next few videos that I hope to be uh, putting out uh, very soon. Um, and just, just kind of getting restarted. So uh, with that, I'm going to cut this one out here. 
Um, I am right outside of my new inventory location, and so I'm going to run in there, uh, pick some orders uh, that I have um, that are going out, um, and uh, I'm not necessarily sure if I'm going to do what sold videos. If I, you know, come across something real good, you know, I, I got a, a real good profit on or something like that, I'll throw it into the video that I'm going to do which will include uh, sports cards and things like that. I'm kind of revamping my card store, my eBay for cards and my regular eBay. I'm kind of combining them both um, and have, you know, a couple different ideas that I'm going to try out uh, with that, which includes uh, one site being 100% complete auctions and running one monthly auction on eBay um, to kind of deal with, uh, you know, uh, cards as well as you know stagnant inventory or inventory that I pick up that you know it's not worth you know holding on to for a long period of time you know just kind of throw it up there start it at like 99 cent or whatever and you know sell it for whatever it sells for plus the shipping so uh, again you know look for some videos on how I'm setting that type of stuff up as well so uh, with that I appreciate you watching if you can of course down there uh, hit the like button uh, leave a comment all that uh, also uh, follow mainly on Instagram Instagram is about the only thing uh, uh, social media that I do anymore um, not really uh, active on any of the other platforms other than Instagram I you know post uh, pictures of stuff that I pick up or things that I'm doing on there so uh, again follow me on those ones with links in the description and all that good stuff and with that I'm gonna cut it out here I'll run and grab some inventory and with that have a good day Always be safe.